Hi, Michael and Mohi here from Octave DNA. Uh, what you're seeing is a dashboard in Splunk that's actually displaying data fed to it via the HTTP event collector using an Octoblue gateway plugin that's forwarding Octoblue messages. Um, in this case, we're going to show you how to send stock data into Splunk and display that visually. Uh, to do that, we're going to create a forwarder device, um, which will, which could be anything. It could be Elasticsearch or Mongo. In this case, we're using Splunk. And first thing you're going to need to do, though, is go to gateblue.octoblue.com and set up an Octoblue gateblue. So now let's create a forwarder. In order to log in, we'll need to acquire our Octoblue credentials. So let's go to Octoblue and log in. And just like every device in Octoblue has a UID and token, so does the user account, which with those, you can adjust the permissions of devices to subscribe to other devices. So now that we're finally logged in, we will go to our profile, and we'll acquire our UID and generate a new token. We'll then use those credentials to log in to our forwarder. So now that we're finally logged in, we can now create a new folder. We can give it a name. In this case, we will do stocks. So let's now select a data source, which could be Mongo, Elasticsearch, or Hadoop. But in this instance, we'll use Splunk. Splunk requires the, uh, an event collector and token and URL. If you need more information about that, we also have documentation on how to acquire that. So we will now enter in our credentials. So now we'll select our gate blue device, whatever devices we want to subscribe to, and finally register our forward, which will now install the plugin to your gate blue, which might take a minute. When that's done, uh, we're going to go into the designer and drag the newly created stock price Splunk forwarder device into the flow. We're going to set it to use incoming message instead of using the device subscription. This way, we can send a direct message to be forwarded into Splunk. We'll then create a new search and look for a payload of a key price. If you've used the demo flow, uh, you'll know that the stock price node sends a message of message.payload.price. We'll check the last 15 minutes of activity and we'll see that we indeed have been getting all of the messages being sent by the flow. We can then use that to create all sorts of analysis, dashboards, and explore that data further. For more information to use Splunk and forwarders, be sure to check our Octoblue readme docs.